All right, so when I have this six gauge wire and I'm trying to do like 75 feet of it, while well, using a tape measure it just doesn't work. So I worked up a little deal with just a, a pipe and set it on here so it'll roll. Got to make sure though, because that's really heavy in that spool of wire. And then I just took it in and I just started pulling on it. And what I did was I would go out here and I would mark off where my measurement would be. And then I'd use a cinder block and put it there and I would carry it, lay it down, put cinder block on it, come back, cut it, and then roll it up. So that's how I was doing my six gauge wire on the long pieces. I have what I did 75 feet to the solar panels, but I'm sure that's going to be more like 60, maybe even 50. But I wanted a little extra because I could always shorten it up. And then to my shed to the, from the utility shed to the RV, to the DC part of the RV, that was about 90 feet. And I'm sure it's going to be a little bit less too, but I wanted again to have a little extra because I can always shorten it. I can't make it longer. So um, again, you want to wire, you want to run your wires as short as possible. If you have a long periods, you need to go with a, uh, a, a, a bigger gauge. And bigger gauge meaning the smaller the number, the bigger the gauge. So a size four would even be bigger than this. In fact, size four um, welding wires, what four aughts is what was used for um, my cables on my batteries. So that's just how I measured out my six gauge wire when I needed a lot of a lot of run. My wire is going to run from me.